So many of us are trying to eat healthy these days. We're trying, but how about a vegan bakery? Well, I tell you what, it's the rage in Hollywood and New York, and it seems celebrities are ordering the vegan treats from Bethlehem, too. We've already heard Gwyneth. What's the connection here? Jen Frederick, you know, she's got it for us. <laughs> Hi, guys, and welcome back, John, I have to say. Here's the deal. If you don't know what vegan is, first of all, it's anything made without any kind of animal anything. And here's why it's important. Apparently, animals raised for food production produce significantly more greenhouse gases than, get this, all the world's transportation combined. Is that true? All the world's transportation? It's absolutely true. So, in other words, like, a vegan who, you know, drives a Hummer to work every day would have less <laughs> environmental damage than the meat eater who rides his bike to work. Okay, cool. And so, the other reason why people are getting into vegan food Foods, food allergies, kosher eating, mm -hmm. but even if you don't care about any of that nonsense, it's your ticker. Yeah, your <laughs> heart, it reduces stroke. It does. And we have to taste good. We talked a little bit. Yep. You won an award, you you beat basically all these other like traditional bakeries, yeah. right? We we basically just were there to, you know, support being vegan and have the alternative in a traditional baking contest with over fifty non vegan bakeries and we ended up winning the whole thing. Because if it stinks, it stinks. Yeah, if it's the best cake there, it's just the best cake there. You know? Okay, so <laughs> take us through what some of these things are. This well, is death by chocolate. Death by chocolate cake, yep. And next to it is a lemon raspberry cheesecake. And I know the big question is, how do you make cheesecake without cheese? Right. But the answer is easy, soy. I mean, okay. you can pretty much make anything from soy. And the bonus is that by tasting it, you'd never know. And right. it's still about 30% less fat than a traditional cheesecake would be. OK, cool. And what's this thing? A two layer. It's a cookies and cream cake. OK. And then these are probably two of our most popular chocolate peanut butter concoctions. <laughs> OK, and that's the thing. Like, I have um, in-laws. They come mm -hmm. to town. My little guy is allergic to different foods. We've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. And I now have turned them on to soy milk, I think because right. it's kind of sweet. People see vegan, they think broccolis and carrots. Yeah. That's not what we're talking about. Occasionally a customer will walk in and they're like, vegan, like what do you make here? And then they look at the case and they're just immediately ordering cake, so. It's pretty cool, right? It, it's really cool. People love it and they have a really positive response. And you know, it's, it's a good way to get people eating a little more healthy and contributing to the environment a little more and caring a little more and eating more compassionately. Okay, and so coming up, Part of the reason why we're here is we heard that you were like the baker to the stars. You have rock stars like Moby, yeah. uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. I know that her children love this stuff. So coming up at 7:45, mm -hmm. we're going to tell you which one Gwyneth likes, okay, and where people can get this. And guys, as I toss it back to you, we're in Bethlehem, but in the Philadelphia area, places like Milk Boy and Ardmore, all kinds of places in our region, she ships to. Okay. So if you go to myfoxphilly.com. We have a complete a list. Mm. Yeah. Healthy sweets okay. in a way. All right. It's good, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jen. Okay.